Hello and welcome back. Let's go ahead and get our game boards all set up. Okay, so I mentioned earlier that I had a free uh, parry that came with the game. I looked over the game very carefully. I looked at all the directions on how to play the game and I looked at all of the playing cards and parry is actually not a part of the game. It's just a free piece that comes with the game. It's just a little extra. So the only thing that you Perry came with was just this little um just this little cardboard stand. So you just just fold it in the middle and just stick that in there and that's it. Just a little free piece there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our game set up. The first thing we're going to do is put in our backdrop. When you receive your backdrop, all of the holes that I've punched out will not be punched out. So just punch all the little holes out. It auto they're automatically indented, so you just easily punch them right on out. And then we're going to just slide this in here. We get that right in there. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in our funnels at the very top of our game. So we in the funnels, as you can see, they're just you're just going to snap those on, just slide them in and snap them on. So let's go ahead and do that. Very easy. Alright, so we have all of our funnels installed. Now let's do our bathtub. With the bathtub, you're going to get two plastic pieces. Okay, so you want to make sure when you snap the bottom piece on to the top piece, this would be your top piece, that this peg here is standing upright. So just snap it on like this, and then this way your peg is standing upright. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to put our plastic piece right on the bottom. You see these two openings here. This is going to slide right in there just like this, and that's it. Then what we're going to do next is we are going to put our backdrop on for our tub. With the tub, that, uh, with your backdrop, these two holes here, these two openings on the bottom need to be face down. And so this is what the back of it looks like. You're just going to attach those to the two holes there. And I'm just going to move my camera. I'm going to let my um, hand go off here so I can snap those in. Okay, so I just snapped that on. That's all that there was to it. Then we're going to take our bathtub here. And you just, uh, you see the two slits here. There's a slit here and there's one here. We're just going to just place our bathtub right into those slits. The bathtub has two plastic pieces that nicely fit right in there. So I'm just going to attach those, snap those right in. And so this is what it's going to look like. Excuse me. This is what it's going to look like. And then we're going to take our shower head and just place that right in there. There's a little hole there for the shower head, and that's it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we can install... Um, you can install your Swampy if you want. Swampy has a plastic, there's a hole, an opening here. Remember that plastic lever that I told you needed to be upright? Well, Swampy fits right over that. And so, and the, it slides from side to side, okay? Now the next step what we're going to do is we're going to put some of our pegs on the game. And it's okay if your game has, if you don't have every single a, a peg in every hole. It's okay if some of the holes are open. You actually want it to be like that because the game, you know, the balls will slide down the game properly. Okay. So right now we're just going to put a couple pegs in here. So just add a couple more at the top. 
and I may take a couple of pegs out as I'm designing my board. I just want to get a couple on there and just get some of them on there as I get started. Okay, now the object of the game is here on your, uh, uh, your card sheet. The instructions as well as the object of the game are here on the sheet. I'm just going to quickly read over what the object of the game is. All right, now the object of the game is for, excuse me, let me just move this here. Okay, thank you. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to pick which, you have two players, if you're playing with two people, you pick which side of the tub is each player. So Swampy can either be, you, you can pick, one player can pick the right side of the tub, the other player can pick the left side of the tub, okay? You're going to then shuffle the cards and flip the cards over. On the bottom of the cards, as you see here, there's one rubber ducky. This means that the level of playing is easy. This is an easy level. This is an easy level. This two rubber duckies means that it's a little harder. And then, let's see if we have three. Three rubber duckies is the most challenging. Now, what that's in, ref in reference to is the design of the board. As you can see, each card shows different game pieces that you put on the board. So this is very easy. Level one, you see there's very few pieces on here. There's only six pieces, three small and three larger pieces that you would put on the board. So this would be for your younger players. The same with the other easy card here. This only has five pieces, three small, two large. And then as you see the next level up, it gets a little harder. You've got four larger pieces and three smaller pieces. And this one here has a multitude of small pieces, five pe small pieces, one medium size, and then one larger size. Oh, there's a six small one down there. And then with three duckies, you see that you've got a lot more pieces on here. Um, you have seven smaller pieces, one medium size, and then two larger pieces, okay? So it's all up to you to determine what level you'd like to play the game on, whether you want it to be hard or medium. So why don't we go with medium? We'll pick a number two. So based on the number two, we see what how we need to design our board. So we're going to design it just like the card here. So I'm going to leave our card here because this is what we're designing our board by. So you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to take my first piece, which is the the round piece here with the, it's a, it's a, a tube, but um, has like a round um, wheel in the middle of it. So I'm gonna take that and put that here to the left hand side on the top. Now with the pieces, some of the game pieces have a hole on the back meaning that you're going to fit this right over the peg. Some of the game pieces themselves are a peg. So for example, the back of the rubber ducky, this itself is a peg. So obviously you're not gonna need a peg in the hole with these pieces here. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So I see that I need to put my tube with the wheel in the middle here to the left hand side. So that's gonna go here. Okay, and then I see that I need this larger piece here, purple piece. This needs to be kind of like in the middle of the board. So I'm going to put that right about here. I think that looks about right. Let me keep my card up there so you can see what I'm doing as best you can. Okay, and so my next piece, as you can see, is going to be another purple tube. This is a smaller one. So let's get that going. And that one is right here. And that's going to go right about here, I'd say. And I can remove. Remember, I said you can take some of the pegs off. It's no big deal. Just take them right off. So you get your game set up because you'll you'll change this game so many times over. All right. And then I need to add three rubber duckies and I need to add one camouflage or one piece of swamp. I'd like to say it is. So I'm going to add a piece of swamp here. 
All right, I'll take that peg out. And then I need to add three rubber duckies. So I'm going to take this peg out and I'm going to place a rubber ducky here. And I have to place another rubber ducky at the bottom. So that rubber ducky at the bottom is going to be right about here. Hold on for one minute. Let me get that in there. Okay. And then I have one more rubber ducky that's going to go here to the left hand side. And let's get that rubber ducky in there. And that's going to go... Oh, this actually, this rubber ducky is going to go over here to the right-hand side. I'm going to put this rubber ducky right here, over here. Perfect. Snap my tub back in there. Okay. All right, great. So I have my board all set up. It looks just like the card. I have my uh, piece here at the top, my tube here at the top. I have my two purple pieces three rubber duckies, and I have a piece of swamp on there. It looks just like it. Okay, perfect. So now what I need to do is the blue water marbles are one point, yellow duck marbles are one point, and the purple toxic marbles are minus one point. So I need to place yellow marbles behind each duck because these are a point for me. I'm going to get my third yellow marble, place that behind my third ducky. Okay, and let's see. The object of the game is for me to drop one of the marbles and see if I can actually get some of the yellow marbles to fall down into the tub with the blue marbles. Now, I don't have any toxic faces on here. But if I had a toxic face on, so I'll put one on just so you can see how it works. A toxic face is a minus one point. So I'm going to put him right there, and I'm going to put a purple marble on the back of the toxic uh, face. There's a little plastic piece here that has an indention, so you can put the, the little marbles back there. If I knock a purple marble down, it's minus one point. So if I have a blue marble that's one point and I get a purple marble, I get zero points. If I knock down a yellow marble and a blue marble, I drop my blue marble down and that goes into the tub and I drop, I manage to knock off a yellow marble, that's two points for me, okay? Whoever has the most points at the end is the winner. So let's go ahead and play. I'm going to see if I can knock off a yellow marble from behind this ducky here because I want two points. And I did it. Wow. Now let's see what happens if I knock off a purple marble here. Let's see if that happens. Oh, it didn't happen. That would be a point for me. Now I'm going to try the third tube. Oh, very good. Awesome. I got a point. I got another point. Now let's see if I can knock down this yellow marble from this rubber ducky. I hope I can knock that off. What do you think? No, I didn't knock it off. Matter of fact, I didn't get any points because my blue marble is now hiding behind this piece of swamp. So let's see if I can try it again. Maybe I can get the yellow marble, which is one point, and the blue marble. No, it didn't work. All right. So... And actually, that time, I knocked off my purple marble, so that would be minus one. So this is actually a pretty fun game. This I didn't press this in really tight. Okay. This is actually a pretty fun game, um, and I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to put it together. And uh, please do tune in for more videos. I will say overall that this is very easy to put together. No batteries needed. Very easy. Just snap and click, uh, simple pegs, very, very simple. So please tune in for more videos from the Happy Toy Lady, and uh, good luck and have fun playing your games. Bye-bye.